Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is the report of the week, and this is not a review. Not a review. So, if you're curious, I am doing a little bit better today uh, up here, and let's hope this trend continues. So, let's get down to business, shall we? The reason why I'm making this video today is for something that it's been an idea that's been floating around and people have said, you know, make a video about it, ask the viewers, ask the listeners, and just see what they want, what they're interested in, and just take it from there. So I said, okay, that, you know, that's what, that's what we're going to do. This applies for February the 20th, 2016, so a little bit over two weeks from now. And most, most bluntly to say, without your support, it's just, it's not going to happen. And, you know, if it doesn't happen, it's not the end of the world. But, uh, as I said, I thought it'd be something, something interesting and something I want to run, run by everyone here. Okay. Now, if you don't know, February 20th, 2016 is a special year for this channel. As a matter of fact, it is actually a milestone for this channel. And that is because, as of February 20th, 2016, this channel, the Report of the Week, will have been up and running, doing reviews continuously for five years straight now. That's right, for five years now, um, half of a decade. And we'll make it ten, I guarantee you that. But uh, five years straight, it'll be the five-year anniversary of this channel. And... We have the idea, you know, I think it would be pretty interesting not only to do a special commemorative review, which is guaranteed, but to have a special VORW show on this date to commemorate five years and the fifth year anniversary. And I thought, you know, one of my main interests is shortwave radio, and it's, you know, it's, it really has been, I have been on, on, had this VORW show on the air before. I had it on a station called WBCQ. Some of you might remember that uh, last year for a little bit, but money ran out, of course, and it hasn't been on since. But I said, you know, wouldn't that be something to get the VORW show back on the air, back onto the medium, which is really my favorite of them all, shortwave radio, and to get a special broadcast for only one hour on just this one day, the 20th of February, 2016, and to get it on the air, heard around the world, just on that day, to have a special commemorative broadcast for it. And I think that'd be pretty interesting to, to do, you know? So, it's in the idea stage right now. I've, I've contacted a bunch of the stations uh, that sell airtime on the U.S. And having been a shortwave listener for a while, I can kind of gauge which stations have better coverage than others. You know, there's some stations which claim they'll be heard, you know, around the whole world, and in reality they can't be heard, you know, more than a couple hundred miles away. You know, it's... So you have to really gauge the stations that you're kind of interested in getting on. So out of all the stations, there's two in particular which I think would be best to get the VORW show back on. The first is a station with the call sign WRMI. They're located in Okeechobee, Florida, U.S., and they have several 100-kilowatt transmitters. That's 100,000 watts of power. They're high-power transmitters. And the broadcast would be heard clearly, guaranteed, across all of North America, Canada, the Atlantic, into Western Europe, the Caribbean, Central South America. So not only would it be heard by listeners in North America and Canada... Be heard also by any people where, where shortwave radio is a little more popular in Central and Central America and the Caribbean. Um, all the, the fishing vessels and container ships in the Caribbean and Atlantic. Um, and just general listeners and enthusiasts in, in North America would be able to enjoy this broadcast on WRMI. For one hour of airtime, they're charging $50 $50 which is a good deal compared to some stations charging $160 for the same, same amount of time. And the second station I'm interested in getting on for this special broadcast is WBCQ, right, Back to the Roots. They would be charging $35 for an hour on their frequency of 7490 kilohertz, which is heard mostly 
in New England and the Mid-Atlantic area. Um, it's heard best in, in those regions, given the time. Now, as I said, this is mostly in the planning stage. You might be saying, you know, review, bro. I get, I, you know, I get what you want to do, but, I mean, come on. You already have this Patreon thing going, right? And you already have your YouTube monetization, so why are you asking me for help? I mean, seriously, you know? I mean, why? And the reason why, number one, in January, this happens every January to all content creators who do monetize, earnings take a drop in January pretty significantly. Um, they, they boost back up in, in, you know, February. But in January, they just take a plunge. And that's just because a lot of, you know, a lot of ad companies just redo their budgets, they pull some ads, and so on and so forth. But there's been a drop in revenue there. Um, it'll bounce back, but just not not enough time to make any sort of payment to these these uh, stations. So that's out of the question right there. And as for the Patreon, in combination with these two two sources of income, which right now, given the lower earnings for uh, January with the the AdSense, it only totals around you know maybe maybe around a two hundred dollar threshold um, that I have on hand right now. And that money needs to be dedicated to the channel. I need to focus on, number one, the cost of all the products I have to attain, transportation, and just general upkeep of things. And, you know, it may seem like a lot of money. It may seem, come on, man, you can, you know, you can blow a hundred bucks and you'll still be good. But, I mean, it runs out fast and uh, almost scaringly fast. You know, it's, uh, it's rather scary how fast it can, can run out like that. But, you know, I don't, don't throw a hissy fit. I mean, you know, I say it is what it is. You know, you make do. We... We're still, we're still doing okay. Can still keep things running, so that's no problem. Can still keep frequent uploads, so that's all good. So, here's the thing, right? We have two stations here that I'm, you know, we're interested in getting this special broadcast for just one day um, for the five-year anniversary. WBCQ, um, smaller coverage, still has a very big base of listeners, $35 an hour. WRMI, much bigger coverage, and a good listener base too, $50 an hour. So $50 and $35. Now, <coughs> if we, you know, if, if with your help, if we break $35, that's guaranteed we're getting on WBCQ, right? If we manage to break $50, we'll get on WRMI and... If there's any more, you know, I'll put that towards WBCQ and I'll just, you know, scrounge around, get some change and, you know, cough up the rest myself uh, to get on both of those, those stations. So this is something that I'm running by all of you. Because really, you know, it's, it's, it's you guys who would make this, make this possible. Um, it's all of you who would really make this exactly what it is make you know get this special broadcast on air and it'll only happen with your help that's the only time it's going to happen with your help okay that's it therefore it's up to you the means which you'd be able to help out through this if you're interested in trying to help out trying to get this you know this uh these broadcasts on the air is via patreon you see the links probably in the videos every time. And the way you do it is just make an account. You put your donation. It says it's a reoccurring monthly fee, but I mean, once it's paid at, at you know the end of the month, I'll be able to get the money, get it to the stations, pay them for the broadcast, and that's it. You cancel it, don't pay any more cents, and that's it. Just a one-time thing. As soon as it pays for that month, cancel it, it's over. Nothing more to review by, you know? So, I'm running it by you. $50 and $35. Will it happen? I, I can't say, but, you know, it's an idea and it never hurts to try, right? If I just sit here, dwaddling around, doing nothing, don't do anything about it, you'd never know one way or the other. You'd never know. So it's always worth a shot. And, uh, hey, you know, you never know. Never know what can happen, but that's all I've got for you, and uh, 
I'll gladly be keeping you updated. Again, if if we even even break an extra thirty five dollar threshold, I mean, I'll make you know an update video next week telling you how much we've gotten um, and and such. Um, but if we break thirty five dollars, I'm on the air, guaranteed. I'm sending that money to WBCQ, and that's going to be that. You know, if we break fifty bucks, I'm sending it to WRMI, and if we get any more than fifty, I'll just get on both. So. That's what we've got for you. Hope we can make this work, but, you know, I always try to keep a positive attitude. I say, you know, if it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, just a just a radio broadcast, not the end of the world, nothing more. But, you know, it's always fun, but if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. And, and so be it. You know, kind of shrug the shoulders, just say, you know, you tried, and, and so be it. You know, that's all there is to it. That's what we got for you, and uh, we'll be back with you probably tomorrow, maybe. Perhaps tomorrow with another review of some sort. Until then, hope you're having a great week, and uh, we'll catch you later. Take care.